an introduction into the history of Ishingu Karate Do. Those who begin karate do so for many reasons self defense, physical fitness, confidence, etc. However, few beginners realize the relationship between the history and traditions and the understanding of the physical movements. To the right is the Japanese writing kanji for Ishindu, which means wholehearted way. The red circle is the symbol for Okinawa. Both of these are the essence of Ishindu. Even if we cannot promote friendship between Okinawa and America through karate, my true hope is that if karate becomes popular in the USA and Hawaii, then Okinawa would also become more well understood. Tatsuro Shimabuku, Okinawan Times, April 30th, 1960. The story of karate begins on the island of Okinawa. Located between Japan to the north, China, 500 miles to the west. The current capital of Okinawa is Naha. This city, along with Shuri, were at the center of trade for centuries. Until it was annexed by Japan in the 1870s and driven into poverty, Okinawa had close relations with both China and Japan which aided in developing the unique culture of the island. Okinawa's distinctive, ornate architecture, music, dance, textile, and pottery are all considered to be among the most beautiful in the world. From this island paradise comes one of the world's most effective fighting systems. Karate teaches to disable an attacker with one blow. However, Karate teaches one not to fight and instills courtesy, peace, and harmony within the practitioner. From the cities of Naha and Shuri came the two main systems of Karate. From the city of Shuri, the style of Shorindu evolved. From Naha came the style of Gojudu. Shimabuku Tatsuo Sensei studied and trained in these two styles. and incorporated some of his own innovations. He created the system that you see him doing here. He's in the karate do. Shimabuku Shinkichi was born on September 19, 1908, and began his study at the age of 13 with his uncle, Daniku Shinko. He taught young Shimabuku a little karate, but mainly instructed Shimabuku to be a sumuchi. This is one that uses books, astronomy, yin-yang, and other tools, and is hired by others to give counsel into obtaining a harmonious lifestyle. In the photo are various tools actually owned and used by Master Shimabuku. Around the age of 22, Shimabuku began his study with Shodindu Master, Shin Chotoku Sensei. The second teacher was the creator of Gojidu, Yagi Chojin Sensei. Shimabuku also trained in Shorindu with Motobu Joki Sensei. Later, starting in 1959, Shimabuku Sensei began studying with Tara Shinki, 
sensei and added more Kobodo weapons to the system. From 1939 to 45, World War II was fought and the effects were felt around the globe, but changed the life of every Okinawan forever. From late March till June of 1945, the Battle of Okinawa devastated the small island. Over 150,000 people were killed and Okinawa lost one-third of its population. From these atrocities, the ravaged islanders rebuilt their lives. Okinawa once again became a center of activity and became the hub for U.S. military bases in the Pacific. One year after the war, Shimabuku Sensei begins teaching and takes the professional name Tatsuo, meaning Dragon Man. One evening in 1955, Shimabuku had a dream of the Yuzu Kanon. She told him he had enough knowledge to create his own style and to use an image of her as the symbol. After months of meditation on what the symbol should be, he finally announced his style on January 15, 1956. Even though Tatsuo Sensei had his own style before the dream and changed many things in the system after, it was the dream that showed him a way to combine everything that he wanted for his new system. The Ishindu no Nomigami contains all aspects of the system and is an essential element to understanding Ishindu Karate Do, Do meaning way. Over the next few years, Ishindu exploded in popularity among the Marines stationed on Okinawa. Many returned in open dojo spreading the style across the United States. And due to the limited time these military men were on Okinawa, the style taught in the U.S. was geared more towards free fighting instead of kata, which are predetermined movements to teach essential lessons. However, a handful of Americans stayed on Okinawa for extended periods of time. learning traditional bunkai, which is the application of kata, and gokui, meaning secret principles or mysteries from Shimabuku Sensei. On May 30, 1975, Tatsu Sensei passed away, though his teachings were gone in many forms. After his passing, many Ishindu organizations and sub-styles sprang up some closer to the original teaching than others. And over the next two decades, Ishinru further splintered in the U.S. and its popularity faded on Okinawa. However, during the 1990s and the 2000s, much of the misinformation perpetrated had been refuted. In great stride, have been made by many in the U.S. and on Okinawa to learn traditional bunkai as taught by Tatsuo Sensei. Recognition also needs to be given to Shimabuku Shinso, Siso Sensei, who shared his deep insight into his father's teachings with a select few who now pass it on to preserve it for future generations. Siso Sensei is pictured here standing beside his father, Tatsuo Sensei. The future of Ishindu lies in what each student is taught. We owe it to Tatsu Sensei to teach traditional karate do, correct our mistakes, and spread Ishindu as a kata based system like other styles of traditional Okinawan karate do. When one and heart are combined, it means wholehearted. This is Ishin. 
Let's preserve Ishindu wholeheartedly in honor Shema Bukhu Sensei.